Welcome to the MTD CNC TV studios. I'm joined by Nick from uh, MA Ford. We've discussed in a previous video the Tough Cut XR and XT range. However, we're talking about aluminium. Now, this is the Tough Cut XAL. They look very much aimed for the um, aluminium market. I know it says it in the title, Nick, but tell us a little bit more about them. You're quite right, Mark. They are, they are designed for aluminium. Um, Certainly the aluminium programme we've, we've put together over, over the last few years has very much centred around the aerospace industry. If you, look at, if you look at our product range, you look at the catalogue, it's very much uh, the corner radiuses which are available, the neck length, so obviously we have tools with, with reduced necks so we can get down to deeper areas. Um, generally within the aluminium it's two flute and three flute tools. Uh, this particular one here, which is our Series 135, um, it's, it's quite a unique tool in that um, most most people that try and compete against this end up breaking the tool because that tool will actually feed at up to two millimeters per rev 1D slotting in aluminium. The big problem we've always found is the power to drive it and a holder to hold it. Um, but if you've got the power, you can actually drive it at that. What type of power would you need? Uh, 60, well, 50 to 60 kilowatts and above. Wow. Uh, I mean, that's a 12 millimeter tool, but I've actually seen the 25 millimeter one running and the, the swarf bin at the end of the machine, it's kind of filling up like every 30 minutes. So, so you may have the power, but uh, to, hold, to hold it as well is going to be it's quite a, a mission, I would have thought. Yeah, the, the restriction is a lot, a, lot of the, a lot of the machines we use, I mean, obviously a lot of the customers are using machines that don't have that kind of power. Um, so we can't slot at those kind of parameters on those machines. But what we can do is we can take smaller depths, but at high feed, but just not but staying within the limits of the machine's power. And when you look at M mills on the market, what makes MA Fords different from what is available to the UK market? Um, well, a lot of the tools you see here are actually manufactured here in the UK as well. Um, so we've got a we've got a lot of control over the product range that we that we uh, we bring to the market. And a lot of our products are uh, they may have started life as a special tool, special design for somebody. Uh, we found it worked really really well, and then we thought thought well, okay, we'll bring out a program. Uh, and this particular one, the three flute tool, our uh, 137V, this was designed at our facility in Leeds. Uh, and now, now we've got a full range of diameters, neck lengths, corner radiuses, and this all came around from a tool we made as a special for somebody, uh, you know, some time ago. And is, is that designed in the UK in Leeds? Yeah, it's designed. Um, we then took it to the market, looked at what the market needed, and we just basically expanded it. Because we're not just looking at the UK, we're looking at our European customers as well. Um, there's different radius requirements, you know, we have 0.5, they may want 0.3, uh, which, which just means you end up adding to the inventory, but, you know, you have to do it. Um, so, you know, the, the aluminium programme we've put together is very much geared around um, the aerospace industry, mainly two and three flute, ball nose, square, uh, with extended lengths as required. Now, when you talk about aerospace, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of different manufacturing of aer aerospace components in the UK and, and generally Europe worldwide. Now, when you talk about price, engineers are looking about price, and I would have thought that the uh, aerospace market is not just down to price, it's about performance as well. How do you compete? Um, we compete really because of the performance. I mean, obviously, a lot of our tools, the metal removal rates we can achieve, uh, and as with our Tough Cut XR range, you know, we... You know, we're not the most expensive, we're not the cheapest, but what we do, what we do provide is we provide a, a very good price performance ratio. Um, and, and then once you've got that right, the, tool, the tools do the talking then. When the customers are using them and they see the kind of metal removals they can get, um, you know, they, they seem very happy with them. And, and is that where you see your growth with the existing customers that you've got a big portfolio of, uh, of the Tough Cut products effectively, but it's all about continuous, you know, being in front of the customer, giving the need to them, if, if they're looking for a solution, designing a, a, a tool around them. Absolutely. I mean, a lot of, a lot of our, pro, a lot of our program, even the Tough Cut XRs, they all started live as possibly a special, a special manufacturer for somebody. But then when we actually ran them and we found they worked really, really well, we thought, hey, this could be an opportunity to bring out a new range, and that has happened on a, on a number of occasions. Now, you talk about aerospace, but what, what other sectors uh, is, is this range available to? 
Well, I mean, the aluminium probe, you've got plastic injection moulds, they generally they generally be, tend to be aluminium, so they, they we very much sell into those kind of markets as well. General machining of aluminium, it might not be an aerospace part, it may just be a electronics junction box or some kind of um, item like that. So it, it's not purely for the aerospace industry, it's basically anybody who's machining aluminium, and it may or may not be an air, aircraft part. And when you see, the, the, from a price perspective, engineers are always talking about prices we've mentioned before, but... Where does this fit? Is it the most expensive in your range? Is it is it the cheapest? Is it in the middle? No, it's. I mean, it's. I mean, obviously, some of the tools are quite long because obviously we get some quite long, long versions. So um, we feel it's competitively priced in the market, but then we let the performance, you know, do the talking on the machine. Um, and we have a lot of customers using these tools uh, both in the UK and in Europe. Um, so some we must be doing something right. So your USP is about performance on tough cut. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, we we don't we don't want to be cheap. We don't want to be expensive. We want to be. You get a high. You get a good performance, high performance tool, and you get it at a sensible price. You know, we're not we're not looking to, you know, fleece you. You know, <laughs> we we want you to we want you to continue to buy the tools, and uh, in order for us to. And you know, let's let's be honest. We're in a very competitive market. Yeah. There's a lot of people manufacturing cutting tools, but there are people manufacturing cutting tools, and there are people manufacturing cutting tools. We like to think of ourselves as somebody who is manufacturing cutting tools rather well, than just the price. Yeah, it's it, it's obviously being unique to a certain extent, but also having that facility up in Leeds gives you the opportunity. Without without a doubt, and I mean, it it, it, it does it almost on a daily basis. You know, somebody will, will will manufacture a special for somebody, it'll work really really well. Uh, we get that feedback, and then we think, well, okay, well, let's roll this out. Where can, where else can we sell this? Great. And then we can put a program together. For any engineers that want to contact MA Ford, please use the details on the screen.